For this week's lab, we will construct the power amplifier subsystem known as PA and study its boot frequency response. The PA is a core that provides the required gain and a power amplification to drive the load, which is in this case the speaker. And the IC that we will be using for the PA subsystem is LM380N and it has an internal voltage gain of 34 decibel. So firstly, you have to construct this circuit as shown, and then we will use the function generator and the oscilloscope to measure its performance. Set your function generator to 1 kHz sinusoidal waveform and a peak to peak amplitude of 0.02 volt. The output voltage is given in channel 1, which is the channel 1 to pick value, and then calculate the gain. After you have justified the performance of the PA chip, let's close the oscilloscope and launch the board analyzer. As our human ears are able to hear frequencies ranging from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. We will set the start frequency as 20 Hz and the stop frequency at 200 kHz. The step we will set as 20. As for the peak amplitude, please refer to table 1 in your lab sheet. The last digit X should be filled up according to your matriculation number. For the first example, when we have peak amplitude at 0 0.02, you will be able to see the output. So first, we will set the cursor to the point where, it's, where there is negative 3 dB and read off the frequency. As the frequency falls above 20 kHz, it does not affect us as we are unable to hear this signal. At this point, there is a 0 0.5 drop in the original signal. Then we will move the cursor to 20 kHz and see the gradient of the waveform. There is almost zero gradient and the output is not distorted. And when the V-peak is 0 0.15, we do the same as what we did previously to see the negative 3 dB point and move the cursor to 20 kHz. Obviously, you can see the wave is fully distorted. So with that, you'll do the rest of the experiment and record it in your weekly logbook. It's important to write an analysis and the reasons for the waveform output. 